one box and stuck them inside of this box and mm -hmm. let them make their own queen and it worked okay. and uh, they made a new queen but this one isn't like the mother queen she's blonde oh, okay. like the last one here yeah this one's a darker color like a like a brownish blackish color abdomen all right so very interesting to see now if you you say how do you get them to uh how do they spawn a queen like how, how does a queen how is a queen born well what happens is the worker bees take a three day up to three day old um uh, fertilized uh, egg mm -hmm. from inside the brood nest and they uh they put it into the queen cell and submerge it partially in what they call royal jelly. Okay. And the three day old egg has to be exposed to royal jelly within that certain amount of time before the actual little larva hatches out of the egg. Mm -hmm. the, the queen is, throughout her entire life, is subjected to uh, more royal jelly than any other of the bees in the hive. So mm. um, that's what distinguishes, you know, how the the queen bee develops is the royal jelly. So that big cell that I showed you, that cup, what they'll do is they'll take an egg and they'll move it into that, yeah. that cell and then they'll store royal jelly in it. And eventually once it gets to about the size of a peanut, they'll cap it. And, uh, you know, that's, that's it. And now is, in is, terms of, uh, in terms of uh, the color that you were just mentioning, is that just purely a genetics thing, or is there, yeah, is there I mean, something that can influence it? Like, there, there is. Usually, I mean, from my experience, Italians usually have a golden color, where carniolans are usually darker. So if you have a carniolan that's a lighter color, this, you can guess somewhere that so there's probably an Italian gotcha. that made it with her. Because I've seen it where the bees have been... There's another high beetle. Where the bees have been light. Um... They've been light colored and then, uh, you know, late in the season, but earlier in the season they were darker colored. So one of the drones were carniolan and that happened to get mixed up in the batch. And, gotcha. you know, when that particular, she starts laying, what ends up happening is, uh, you know, it could be from any one of the drones that fertilizes her eggs. So okay. If it happens to be, you know, carniolan, that's typically what you can expect is a darker color. Yeah. Um, you know, they have Caucasian bees, which are more of a grayish color. They have Russian bees, and they all have their little quirks. And no, when when you say like you're, you're referring to like the where they came from originally, like the geographic location, or you're just like saying uh, uh, well, well, Caucasian yeah. bees are they're all different. I mean, yeah. most bees nowadays are just mutts, anyways. Yeah, like they don't come from the Caucasus or anything like that. When you say that, not like, not that I particularly know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. they they just they're a grayer color bee. It was it gotcha. seemed to be a bee that my mentor had in his apiary back 30, 40 years ago until tracheal mites and varroa mites started kicking in. Gotcha. And, you know, from my, from what I've understood, Caucasian bees seem to be a lot more expensive if you can find them. Okay. Than carniolans or Russians or, and, you know, they're, they're pretty good bee from, from what my mentor explained to them. And it's, it's funny because one of these hives back a couple months ago was, at, uh, I mean, the bees look like they were, they were pitch black on the outside of the hive, and I was like, wow, that must be some type of uh, Caucasian genetic. Which, you know, mm -hmm. I, I like a variety. I want I want to have a little bit of everything, so when a virgin queen does come out, yeah. I think I have some a chance at some of the best traits of all the bees. So yeah, yeah. The better the diversity in the bee yard, the uh, more chances you have of... Survival. Survival yeah. rates, you know, and bringing mm -hmm. new genetics in every couple of years. Yeah, yeah. And, and giving them, you know, sure. they're not inbreeding. So they're not much. prone to like a certain disease or anything. Yeah, inbreeding yeah. and stuff like that, because then you can end up with some inferior bees. You got 
got some glue in here. Starting to stick it up. Right, next one. Okay, this one seems to have some storage. The queen was up in here, she was laying. And you can see all around it, there's all nectar all around it. Yeah. Right in the middle is the brood. Yeah, yeah. Fresh. Yeah. All up. Let's see. Let's see if we can find a queen. A good possibility she might be on here. Yeah, she's gonna be. She should be darker. This one. But not quite as. Uh, quite as dark as the canola. She's a little bit lighter. I did see her earlier this season. We'll see how this is here, because mm -hmm. this is a bigger hive. So what happens is the more bees you have, the more bees you have working on these frames. Yeah. And right here, as you can see, there's no comb. There's just a backing. Okay. So what happens is I still got to draw it out. And if they haven't had a chance to, to get to it, because this hive's a little smaller than this one, still half the size and a box shy, I could take from here and, and put, put drawn there. comb in the yeah, air and yeah. put the undrawn comb in there and they will work harder on getting that drawn out. Now, is this is this basically like a super hive or do these bees basically all kind of stay to with, to each individual box? Like Yeah, I mean, well, they're social insects, so to yeah. a degree, yeah. um, they're, you know, they will stay to their own hive. Yeah, Unless yeah. a queen um, has really... Uh, potent characteristics about her, then some bees could yeah. find their way into that hive if they feel that their loyalty to yeah. her would be better than they would do that. Before. And uh, what what determines that? Like what you say, potent characteristics? Like The character of just the pheromones, really. Gotcha. I mean, All that, right. That's really the biggest yeah. thing, is if they like the way she smells more than, than their girlfriend that they got, then they're going <laughs> to go to the new girl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> pretty funny. These are ladies we're talking about. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm take a break and get this thing going. Pretty good. They're on a good honey flow. Oh, yeah, yeah look at that. Going in. Actually, mainly, most of them are. This is the time where they actually start to really pile in. Yeah. And they come out from the yard. And usually, if you don't interrupt them, then. Like what we're doing with the smoke, you see them just, they pour right in. Yeah, yeah. Let me get a, let me get that. Is that all right? Is that all right to, 